A seven-story addition, the tower included changes to the public, emergency, and service entrances. It tripled emergency and outpatient areas and added intensive and coronary care facilities. Floors five through seven would become the primary patient wards with 42 beds per floor. With the addition, there would no longer be a separation between male and female wards, a factor that was the only remaining tie to Indiana's earliest days. For cancer patients, regular trips to Pittsburgh for treatment challenged those already weakened by the disease. To address this issue, Indiana Hospital began its first partnership with another healthcare provider, Oncology Services of State College, Pennsylvania. Open in January 1987, the Indiana Regional Cancer Treatment Center was a 4,000 square foot, one story brick building, providing the latest equipment and techniques for cancer treatment. Changes continued in 1987 with the obstetrics and ambulatory care units. Obstetrics was renovated to provide a more home-like environment complete with recliners and private baths. The family-friendly unit would welcome some 800 new babies each year and support the latest techniques in labor, delivery, and recovery rooms. The ambulatory care unit was moved from the fifth to the fourth floor of the tower and was connected by a bridge to the surgery and recovery areas. Some 60% of the surgical cases were done on an outpatient basis and the new facility enhanced patient care and convenience. The next major round of expansion occurred in the 1990s. Opened in 1992, the first addition was the $1.9 million Outpatient Services Building. A two-story, 18,000 square foot structure, the building would house the ER Fast Track, Chemotherapy Unit, and Outpatient Physical and Occupational Therapy. It also provided two educational classrooms and space for fiscal services, accounting, and billing. Construction began in 1994 on the Transition Care Center, the next phase of the 1990s expansion. Located in the MAC wing, the 18-bed unit provided skilled nursing care for the patients who did not need full hospital services but were not well enough to be cared for at home. In 1997, the center received full accreditation from the Joint Commission on Accreditation of Healthcare Organizations. In November 1997, planning began on the Ambulatory Surgical Center. The new three-story facility was a response to the changing nature of healthcare and the growth of outpatient procedures. The center provided three operating rooms, an endoscopy suite, and physician office space. The Ambulatory Surgical Center was a joint venture between IRMC and Indiana Ambulatory Surgical Associates, a group of local surgeons and other physicians. A $10 million capital campaign in 2001 would help support continued expansion. With the community support, the new $5 million Bork Emergency Center tripled the space available. The unit expanded the number of beds from 14 to 21 and enabled the center to handle 42,000 patients per year. Marking their 100th anniversary, IRMC kicks off their second century with the announcement of an upcoming expansion to their current facilities, as well as the capital campaign to raise the money needed to build a foundation for the next 100 years. Indiana Regional Medical Center has come a long way since its start in November of 1914. Today, they have expanded to a vast 40-acre main campus with 164 beds and houses an estimated 250,000 patients a year. Currently, Indiana Regional Medical Center is the county's sole full-service health care provider. Its success is evident in its ranking in the Pennsylvania's top 100 best places to work, never placing lower than fourth since 2005.
For almost a century, Indiana Regional Medical Center has provided quality health care services to the Indiana community. IRMC takes great pride in its dedicated physicians and their service to the Indiana community. Honoring the past, these doctors paved the way to embrace the future of IRMC. Hired in 1949, Dr. Ralph Waldo became the first hospitalist at IRMC. With a warm and compassionate heart, he changed the lives of many and left a valuable mark on this organization. In 1967, Dr. Melvin Williams joined Indiana Hospital as the first board-certified internal medicine physician in the area. Later in his career, he expanded the hospital's reach with a nuclear medicine department. In 1991, Dr. Mark Boykew, medical staff president and chair of the Department of Surgery, helped bring laparoscopic gallbladder surgery to the hospital, landing him the Physician Excellence Award. Through the years, IRMC doctors have led a dedicated staff who have remained true to the hospital's mission to service the community with quality, progressive, and compassionate patient care. The current staff are vital to the success and expanded reach of IRMC. Their passion and sense of community further IRMC's vision of being the best community hospital in the county. IRMC is the community. IRMC is made by the community and it serves the community. IRMC has no entity without the community. I think IRMC means a lot to the community and region. I think people in this community take a lot of pride and comfort in the fact that they have a community hospital that's able to provide good and up-to-date care for them and has so many different things to offer. We're the primary supplier of health care here in the county. You know, we play a very important role both in providing that health care as well as providing jobs, but I think also because we're the only provider, people look to us to provide information about health care, to provide them with the means to obtain their health care, and also, I think most importantly, to have a relationship with their doctors and with health care providers. Most of the people who work here, come here, are probably neighbors, friends, and also the uh, family of the patient. One of the great things about having the hospital here is that we're able to provide state-of-the-art state uh, cutting-edge technology and treatments to patients locally so they don't have to travel to Pittsburgh or Cleveland or other areas. I think it serves all the basic and other needs of the community. I think it's a great uh, place to be. I think that IRMC means a lot to the community. They're, they do a lot for the community. I think that the community appreciates their being here as a stronghold for medicine. IRMC is fortunate to have a team of talented doctors serving the health care needs of every life they touch with kindness, respect, and dignity. They take pride in their work and continuously deliver top-notch care while establishing strong doctor-patient relationships. What I love most about my job every day is my patients, uh, no doubt about it. Um, I wake up every morning, I'm excited to go to work. I love coming in, talking to people, and uh, you know, trying to help them. That's what I got into medical school for in the first place, was to help my patients and I believe I'm making a difference here at Indiana Regional Medical Center and I hope to continue to make a difference. Uh, you know, particularly, if I have my own personal interest in diabetes as I was diagnosed here at Indiana Regional Medical Center 19 years ago, uh, this March 27th. When our children were little, they used to count the uh, patients that said, hi, Dr. McCoy, and hello, and I would talk to them. And we, they would make a game out of uh, how many patients we'd seen on our outing and then report back to their mother when we got home, Dad, Mom, 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 Dad saw 14 patients today. <laughs> I love the fact that I'm associated with an institution that's been voted uh, one of the best places to work in Pennsylvania. So, who's better than me? <laughs> Any physician, uh, would, what they love most is uh, providing care to their patient. And the more personalized they can do it, the better it is. IMC also participate in the health fair in the communities. It participate in the Indiana County Fair to make people aware of 
their health problem and all kind of health awareness. I think the fact that I get to be involved with people's lives, you know, not only do I get to help them, I mean, there's a significant amount of frustration that's associated with the insurance companies, with lawyers, with trying to get tests done, but I think the most exciting part is I still get to be involved with people's lives. I get to share their most difficult moments, some of their best moments. What I love about my job is that uh, I, I like working with people every day. I like being challenged. Um, there, there are issues that need to be solved, I like helping people work together, like uh, breaking down the silos that we all come across every day in our lives. And I like the opportunity to make things better. The deeply rooted sense of community and pride makes IRMC a great place to practice medicine. One of the nice things, uh, actually being independent, is, is the, the flip side of that coin is that it gives us a lot of uh, flexibility to, to make changes and to implement new uh, plans and protocols. Uh, as, as a member of the medical staff, we uh, are, you know, all of us keep up to date with the latest technologies and we're able to bring that to the staff and show this and demonstrate them and, and implement them uh, uh, relatively quickly. So actually being independent has really been an asset to us because it's allowed us that f uh, freedom and flexibility in that regard. It's a nice place to live. It's a wonderful place to practice. It's a good place to raise your family. You'd be silly not to come. When you are looking for um, the hospital that you would want to work um, in, a uh, few things. First, that you, uh, you need to make sure that you have all the amenities uh, and the tools available to take care of the patients, um, which I think we do. Um, the second important thing is how is the how are the physicians that you interact with and um, and we have asked some excellent physicians here. Then, what is the relationship uh, that physicians have with the administration? And I think that is probably uh, I have found one of the best um, in this hospital. So all these things you know make a work environment um, pleasurable and. Uh, uh, and if you are happy where you're working, you can provide a much better health care um, to the patients as well. So it actually benefits everybody. This is not the first place that I have worked. Uh, that This hospital has plenty of special specialists that you do not need to go outside of the area to find the specialty that you're looking for that they are very supportive. I have not run into a physician that I did not think was up to standard of care. And if I were looking all over again, I'd come back. When the people come to the Indiana hospital, most of the time they come to their family. Honoring our past and embracing our future, IRMC doctors and staff remain committed to serving the community. Quality care is the hallmark of Indiana Regional Medical Center. Every patient that walks through the doors at IRMC is treated as a member of the family. Our doctors and staff share a commitment to patient-centered excellence, compassion, respect, dignity, and trust. To fulfill these goals, IRMC provides a wide range of patient services from cardiac to oncology and family to outreach services at our main Indiana campus and satellite facilities. A key factor is providing these services in the local community to greatly reduce the need to travel for specialized medical care and lessening stress on patients and families. For patients with heart and circulatory problems, the Center for Cardiac and Vascular Care provides progressive, high-quality care under the supervision of a board-certified cardiologist. A wide range of services is provided including digital angiography, intensive care, and telemetry units, as well as cardiac rehabilitation and vein treatment services. Cancer patients benefit from the high quality of care provided by the Herbert L. Hanna Center for Oncology Care. Serving Indiana County and surrounding areas, the 10,000 square foot facility offers radiation and medical oncology. Also, the facility supports patients and families with pain and distress management, 
pastoral services, cancer survivor support groups, hospice, and free transportation. The cancer wellness programs, including Small Choices Big Change for breast cancer, provides lifestyle advice, nutritional information, and exercise programs. Regular screenings are held for breast, prostate, and skin cancer. IRMC is committed to prevention as well as treatment. Patient education and prevention information are provided using the hospital's resources and in collaboration with the American Cancer Society. For spinal and mobility related injuries and conditions, Indiana Regional Medical Center, in partnership with Center for Orthopedics and Sports Medicine, created the Human Motion Institute, which addresses back and mobility issues. Together, these provide for the prevention, assessment, treatment, and rehabilitation of musculoskeletal injuries. Services provided include joint replacement, reconstruction, spine care, sports medicine, pain management, and pre- and post-operative care. Through the Bork Emergency Center and Life Flight Helicopter Service, IRMC is prepared to deal with medical emergencies. In addition, the fourth floor surgical unit and ambulatory surgery unit provides a wide range of operative services in the local community to address a range of surgical needs, including injuries, mobility, cardiac, and oncology. IRMC provides a range of services to address special patient needs. The services support and reinforce the reach of other services provided. For those with wounds that resist treatment, the Wound Healing and Hyperbaric Medicine Center provides a range of services including hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Our Sleep Disorder Center addresses a range of issues including sleep apnea, narcolepsy, restless leg syndrome, and others. For elderly patients experiencing mental or emotional problems, a full range of medical and psychiatric services are available through the Behavioral Health Center. Palliative and supportive care services assist patients dealing with the pain, discomfort, and stress of serious illness. As a member of the National Spirit of Women Coalition, IRMC is committed to quality health care for women. The It's a Wonderful New Life Maternity Center provides state-of-the-art care in a family-oriented environment. The M. Dorcas Clark Women's Imaging Center provides mammography and other imaging services, as well as Bertie's Closet, providing clothing and accessories for women fighting cancer. Using a wellness model of education, IRMC offers programs to empower families to make informed decisions on patients' health and treatment. They offer Mommy Style to help prepare for physical, emotional, and lifestyle changes that come with becoming a mother. Baby Style is a group led by clinical educators. It is a time for fun, networking, and education for new parents. Kids Style caters to parents and children who have unique needs at different times in their lives. IRMC is committed to the health of our community and the workers in our region. A wide range of educational and support services are provided including centers focused on diabetes education, weight loss, as well as programs in nutrition and food. Companies and communities benefit from a range of outreach services including health screenings, immunizations, and health information programs. IRMC is more than a hospital campus. It is a regional medical center with locations throughout the region to better serve residents. A full range of primary care, routine exams, x-rays, and mammogram services are provided at our Mahoning, Northern Cambria, and Seward Medical Centers. The Laboratory Center at 119 Professional Center 
offers a full line of laboratory services in an easily accessible location. To respond to the need for medical care for less serious injuries and illnesses, the urgent care centers at Blairsville and Indiana provide a wide range of medical services with extended hours. Underlying IRM 